books they want in their library, which goes against another amendment, like freedom. Like, like they can choose what the books like. That's saying, oh, you have to have this book in your library. Well, that doesn't count. Be well, that, that that's not a good. That's not a good thing because they should have the. They should have their. They should be able to pick what books they need and they want. And plus, book there are there are like. All these other books that have that like are high lexile and can help you fluent, which aren't inappropriate. Like in the teacher, like we're in fifth grade, you can handle it. But you don't see like third grade and second grade teachers reading hatchet to those to those kids because they're in the church. Well, this is the first amendment says. Yeah. Um, everyone has to, the freedom to read and write and freedom of speech, and I think people should be able to say what they want to say. Like, like they say, you know, they, I really want to read these books, and maybe like, some people shouldn't be in these sort of books. Yeah, but um, the little kids wouldn't really, like Jordan said, um, little kids wouldn't understand good words and bad words, because like, they're little and they want to get the words, but the kids, they would actually be more responsible and not say it. And like little kids, they would just be like, oh, I learned a new word today. And um, their parents would be like, what was it? And then they would say <coughs> it to the parents and they would be pretty much like in trouble. doesn't mean that any other child can't read the book. Parents might want to um, have the children read those books to learn about either their history or like something that's maybe related to them. They might want their children to read that book. So if it's not there, then what are they going to do? If they don't have the book? Well, I would think, I would like to...